my dearest friends, welcome to my channel. <laughs> I'm Kaising Marie from Heart to Heart, or in French, Kerake, an intuitive, holistic coach, and a very human being. <laughs> human. I will tell something about my humanness in this reading. And I will speak about the energies of July and cancer season. Cancer season has started already some days ago. And before I go into that, I will show you, I have painted uh, uh, an artwork for the energies of 2024. You will find in the description box also um, a link to that video and every month I choose intuitively with closed eyes a part of the painting that might represent the energies of the upcoming months and <laughs> I will show you where my finger landed this time it was here in the center of the heart yeah, so you can see there's, there's a rose spiral and um, I was touched and a bit surprised when I opened the eyes and saw my finger here. <laughs> and we will explore in this video what, what this means for the upcoming energies. Before I go on this, I would like to talk about um, an experience, um, an exploration something I discovered two days ago. If you follow me, you know, um, I do these energy updates in some years and they are in steady change. So this year, it's the first time I just did one painting for the whole year and I choose these parts and I make a connection with with the astrological signs as well. So it's not really one month, one sign. It's a bit... Um, it's a, a bit another rhythm and as I go out with this video between the end of one month and the beginning of the next one so everything is a bit more in flow and last month I did a video about June and most time of June is in Gemini season and the part of the painting I've chosen back then was this orange part here was is for me representing more a fire energy. And I don't know what happened. Two days ago, I just looked at that video and I realized that I wrote every season. <laughs> what? And I'm not an astrologer, just I'm... I, interested in astrology and I have a basic knowledge for sure. So what happened that I named Gemini, Gemini season? Every season. And I just, I get, get two answers. One is that we had really fire action energy in June. This was what I felt I got. So an energy that is in this action part, really close to Aries. Gemini is a, is a very agile and quick and um, adaptable sign, for sure. And it's an air sign, it's not fire. So I talk in this video about fire and Aries. <laughs> it's really the what? And well, one 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 part, one thing that I I just um, got a confirmation for myself that I have talked about what I felt in the energy was this fire energy. And then another thing, and this is has to do with my really being human, that I. <laughs> I asked and I got the answer, but I was in another dimension. I was not on Earth when I did that video. I was in a, I don't know where, 
but not here, not really connected with this physical realm, this where I am, where here now. So because I did other things as well. So I just, uh, I was in, in Rome at that moment of time and I had to fill out these uh, timesheets for my phone job. And in the same week as I did the video, I just filled in dates, <laughs> nothing to do with that week. And this is interesting. What for me it's interesting as well, but I was discovering that it's two or three days ago. And it was like, whoa, whoa, what happened there? And I don't I don't feel ashamed for that or feel guilty or that I did something really terrible a very terrible mistake it was more really an um the feeling of being surprised and curious <laughs> and this is um beautiful and with this revelation there is something totally perfect for me in what happened in Naming Gemini season everything you can watch the video. I just I changed the title now on YouTube. It's called now Gemini Gemini season, and in the video I talk about Aries. I didn't change the video, so the video title is still Aries season. So and I was also surprised that nobody wrote comment. So what you're talking about? Ah, my are the people following me so polite, or are they thought that I'm so totally crazy that it doesn't make sense to say anything? I don't know. So, if you was one of the people, one of the person who watched that video and was maybe doubting a bit what I'm talking about or thinking, hey, it's not every season. We're not in every season. And if you like to. Write a comment about how you perceived that. I would appreciate that. I would appreciate to get a feedback about what happened <laughs> for you <laughs> with this craziness. So after this, now I will dive a bit in the uh, upcoming energies of July, what cancer season will bring us. So cancer season is a water sign. <laughs> and I, this time, I really am sure. This is cancer season. And as all the water signs, they connect us with our emotions. They bring us more in contact with our emotions and they bring up more emotions and less control over emotion. What is on the bigger picture beautiful? Not all the time so easy to live to be to experience and what i got really with this when i was looking at the the painting for the whole year and seeing my finger choosing the center of the heart so i feel that this season that this month of july will Bring in energies that help us, support us to open our hearts. And sometimes for sure, heart opening comes through heartbreak. So the heart has to be cracked open to open. And it's not, I, f I feel that these energies, they are potent, but they will come in and... I, we will see a lot of heartbreaking events in the world more and more. And that we can um, and we really open up to these energies and embrace them and welcome them. Then that can happen 
quiet and soft, this heart opening, this heart expanding as well. So it is like these energies are entering direct our heart center to expand what is already there to um, to support us to expand our love our compassion compassion for all embracing helping us to see the bigger picture when when we are facing heartbreak because of what is happening in our personal lives or in the world. So very supportive energies, very intense as well. Very lightful and this is ever when a lot of light is coming in, it will illuminate our shadows. So big invitation once more <laughs> to to go in contact to embrace also when we're triggered and we will be triggered life takes care <laughs> so we will be triggered there's no doubts so really to take this invitation to have a look what needs to be seen here in us, in these systems, what needs to be embraced and integrated. And in this way, for me, this is healing when I can embrace the parts that have been ignored or that I have suppressed or that I didn't want it of myself. When I start to embrace them, like you can call them like the inner child that needs to be seen and to acknowledged with all that still hurts in this little one, then healing is taking place. Then we become once more more whole. We are already whole because all 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 is there. And for me, this this metaphor of wholeness says not there are parts coming back to us that were lost somewhere it, it means for me that parts that we haven't seen that we didn't want it that are already here are integrate are loved are accepted and sometimes we need to go to foreign places to discover them. So this might feel like these places, these other countries, these other cultures bring us back parts of us. And in a way it is like that because maybe we couldn't discover these parts that are already in us at home. <laughs> or oh, in then common and, and well-known familiar environment if it's possible. So if you are called to travel in, in July, this is maybe a voyage to come in contact with parts you can't come in contact with at home. I pulled a card as well. I already put it. It's from the Good Tarot from kind of Baron Wright. And it's a two of water, a water energy with uh, two lovely fishes swimming. And I I like the energy. I, I found it, it is really sweet energy. It's a water energy for sure. It's interesting because this fish is swimming that this fish is swimming that direction, and there are the flowers around. And as I feel, they are deeply connected, even when they have their space, their own direction. They will always stay in contact and they are um, giving each other the freedom to swim 
and their direction. <laughs> so the um, like the ideal of a romantic relationship, or every relationship, I I would say that we stay connected, that we are aware of our connection with everything and everyone, and following our own calling and not being restricted by, at the end, our belief systems, <laughs> our programs, or not restrict ourselves that we have to do certain things or have to swim in the same direction as, as the people we are connected to when it's not our direction. And vice versa, that we can let another person follow his or her way, even when it's not our way, while staying connected. So maybe relationships will be a big topic in July as well. For me, relationships in all forms, not not just romantic ones. They will for sure <laughs> trigger us and by triggering us, helping us to open our hearts in compassion to to learn worthful lessons about ourselves. And I had a beautiful conversation with a friend today about relationship topics. And it is so easy to get lost in taking care of the other one or doing what we think, what we would be good for the other one, for sure, what would be then good for the relationship. And in fact, for us. And that romantic relationships are, for most of us, the biggest, the most intense teachers about ourselves. Because earlier or later, uh, all our triggers <laughs> will be triggered. So I say always, we have this, all what is still wounded, all what is still not healed is like little buttons. And earlier or later, the other one will press these buttons. For sure not to hurt us, mostly. But by being the perfect button presser we could have chosen. And then to really stay in these connections with ourselves and having the courage to express also so this is this is going on in me now that you have done or said that I have these reactions and then going deeper what what is on the knees and not saying this this hurts and because of you <laughs> what we were used for such a long time and in that moment you can you can talk about your triggers your wounds and share that deep intimacy and healing will take place as well so for sure, it's not it's not done with sharing what's going on in you. And it is the first step to acknowledge your wounded parts. So it is a part of embracing them and bringing them to the light. Bringing light to them and love. That's it. I will not speak any longer as I speak. I'm still, I found it so crazy what I did last month. Well, I will overcome that as well. I wish you a beautiful month of July. When you are in the Southern Hemisphere, we have um, 
crazy weather here now in the northern hemisphere. Summer starts now also with the solstice. That was on the 21st of June. And it is uh, in, in the most European countries, as far as I've heard, the most cold and rainy summer since long time. What is for sure not so beautiful to live as a human being. And I can say here in the south of France, after two or three really dry summer, dry and hot, and water restrictions, I see, I feel nature here being so happy and the earth soaking with water. And it is really intelligent. We have hot days. Today is a really hot day in between. But it is not as it was in the last years for, for months, just no rain, nothing. Yeah. So here every three or four days, it's raining, it's cloudy, and the water can still really penetrate the earth as the surface is not too dry. So I will go to Germany in July. I have to... I have to take care of some family stuff. And I, I'm so wishing that I have good weather there because it's much colder than here in the south of France and I love the sun. So I, I already decided that I take some with me. I wish you the best. Take care of your heart. Let it expand. Be okay when... Expansion brings like growing pain with it. Be okay when you feel heartbroken because also this is a form of heart opening. Embrace all that is. Embrace yourself. Be kind and loving with yourself. It is intense. The incoming energies are intense. All my love for you. And we meet when we meet. Bye, bye.